it is a it it does have some new cards that I haven't read before, but it's one of the apps that I have on the wiki. Okay. It's passwords. Second to download the app. Okay, once you download the app, I will start. Okay, I have one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you? Dustin? Okay. Inherency, cyber breaches in the healthcare sector are rising year on year. This isn't theoretical. Thousands of breaches have recorded the last eight years, 18 years, 18. Over eight years span, healthcare organizations report 2149 data breaches of 5176 million records to the federal government, with every year bringing more incidents of finding fighting time networks supporting our argument that healthcare is particularly vulnerable to hackers. Uh, so, also networks and digital health records have the potential to improve clinical care, and also the potential for harm to fast numbers of patients if data security is not improved. The size of each breach ran from 500 to 78 million patient records. The ongoing transition to electronic to health records may increase such breaches. Former head of Homeland Security says passwords are. Are the weakest link in cybersecurity today, search off 16. Examination breach reveals the time and team in every major breach. The attached vector has been a time and password. The password is by far the weakest link in cybersecurity today. The plan. The United States federal government should order Cyber Command to mandate enforce the adoption of strong passwords and multi factor authentication, requiring knowledge and adherence factor on all databases utilized as part of the emergency services sector and healthcare and public health sector. I reserve the right to clarify and process. Solvency. We must leverage our sanitation technologies, government regulations, need with regards to implementation, critical infrastructure, search house 16. We need to announce and failure passwords and maintain our supply already time up with something better, leveraging the generation of our sanitation technology to the government has an important role to play in setting adopts and government to leverage its role in setting guidance for and make the lane critical infrastructure by placing greater emphasis on the use of smart sanitation as well as ensuring its use is ubiquitous, advantage while it's cybersecurity. Uniqueness, a year-long study found that the healthcare sector has routinely failed to implement even the most basic of security, including the lack of passwords or the usage of single or passwords that remain publicly available here or well. A year-long examination of cybersecurity has found out that healthcare is most vulnerable because it lies behind addressing known problems I've never seen in this more dating security holes said Rubin, a director of the Information Security Institute, Johns Hopkins University. Rubin has not demanded routine failure to fix known flaws and it helps when healthcare more to sidestep security measures such as passwords. The University of Chicago Medical Center operating on secure drop-offs for new residents managing patient care for their iPads using single username and password published online. It reports that passwords are responsible for 81% of hacking related breaches, randomly stating. Businesses have been warned to passwords that are longer enough for rise in 2017 data breaches before finding 81 percent of hacking related breaches are, are being lead to passwords. Yet many are still relying on this outdated and secure method of authentication. Six percent of systems administrators uh, are using basic password authentication to protect data. The vast majority of medical professionals are terrible about passwords. Monitor 17. 
A recent study examined a prevalence of passwords here in a lot of health care providers and found the only three photos of Manitoba residents have used and other staff members to obtain ESR access. 100% of all Manitoba residents reported obtaining another Manitoba staff member's password with their consent. 77% of Manitoba students and 83% of intern groups reported using someone else's EHR access credentials. Links. Ransomware is drawing using strong passwords to prevent brute forcing by remote criminals. Trip by 16. The drugs of ransomware have driven the security industry to create tools for blocking these threats from being executed on computers, methods that users still deploy to ensure high level defense against these blades. Use strong passwords that cannot be brute forced by remote criminals. Multi factor authentication is thrilled to resolve the harms of passwords. Vandal least 18. It's time for organizations to recognize the risks represented by passwords today. Best practice comes in the form of multi factor authentication technologies, which uh, remove the set of these least stolen passwords from the need to raise out the desert. This is the first thing Homeland Security recommended the emergency services set to, to do to resolve its vulnerabilities, other sectors to do the same. DHS have 17. ESS organizations use network computers for operational funds such as connectivity databases below. Our practices that can be implemented include plans for each one password seeking a combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid words and basic patterns. Use a different password for each account. Use multi factor authentication to access computer systems with knowledge. Factor I17 knows this is a password and hammers factor I17 R since it's fingerprint identification. Impact for release of medical records leads to able statement and reduces quality of health care institute medicine or not. Recent privacy and confidentiality not only may affect a person's dignity, but can cause harm and personally identifiable health information. For example, this is close to an employer and so a family member to result in stigma, embarrassment, and discrimination. In showing privacy is a sense of fatality and terror enhanced autonomy and preventing economic harm, embarrassment, and discrimination. Ableism leads to ontological violence and dehumanization, good lead ones with cold weapon. Cultural resources and firm internalized and conversations about disability, told to expectations, threatened to provide ontological attacks on disabled people, physically also being worked into beings of disabled children, disabledism, and disabled 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 a moderator asked cybersecurity leaders what the nightmare scenario was. The answers were large scale attacks against our infrastructure, against the power to against the financial system. My answer was that people think talking about the nightmare scenario for stacing can mean bad decisions and maintain to be used to support any consistent or cybersecurity. If we build a nuclear power plant, plant it to melt down. If we don't build we will one sort of power and society will collapse into. I don't need to be to this. That our society no longer has the ability to tackle like probabilities risk assessment is devalued. Worst stacing can lead to bad decisions, bad decisions designed, bad security or stacing gives a rare, much more trained set it deserves. Two in this instance is to retail to manning of the answer. Good idea, so the matter was. Endorses the laws of defense we are using to advance a hypothetical advocacy which has a powerful chance to actually save some lives. Cuts at last point, and that's what you're with what their evidence says. Uh, Mending better passwords and our sanitation isn't going to cause nuclear war. Our motto is also to the debate is in particular as it says you should evaluate low probability and pets at zero. Her bedroom text will assign you. We need to realize that some ways are so trivial, they are simply not meaningful. There was a point being expressed probabilities of meaningless to make us routinely accept minimal risks, which would be immediately dismissed by, summarily dismissed by leaders such as they are assessing any rate to suspect a later part of which you not believe it is possible to include different current evidence and formats of debate that apply might cause an increase in the risk and nuclear from client waste and someone's point of risk becomes so small that it should be ignored just to ignore these risks in our own lives. We should be willing to ignore minimalist advocates to focus on the initial probability and on the margin which is flamed by negative. That's hard to make to analytics. We get to weigh the hypothetical impacts of the African setting criticism. The ace appointed that pre fiat post fiat the same since our meaningless ally advocacies use some form of fiat to advance the same to the sense for to be. Argument is that, uh, is that this is key to fairness. Otherwise, uh, you would automate it would always win because they would be able to restart the debate to one and see and data 13 nine times you in your favor, which makes it impossible to be affirmative. Okay. Are you looking for prompts? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to clarify so, what exactly is the best case scenario for app solvency? Best case scenario for app solvency is that nobody hacks into medical records anymore. What does that do? What that does is that people's when people's medical records stop being hacked, they get better medical care and they are less likely to be subjected to ableism. Mm -hmm. um, is the are you actually protecting critical infrastructure if all you're doing is like adding a regulation? Is that really protection? Oh yes, we are protecting critical infrastructure. Hospitals are critical infrastructure. But are you protecting those or allowing them to protect themselves? Because the regulation in of itself isn't what's protecting them. It's just that once that regulation is in place, then they have like protection. We're protecting them. If you tell a, a kid not to cross the street, you're, pro to, to, for, you're so protecting them. the effect them. is topical. We are topical through our direct action. We are not just effects topical. We are actually topical because this is so an action that Cyber Command is taking to protect critical infrastructure. Perfect. So the action of regulation doesn't protect anything. It's just like it does protect implemented. something. It it does protect critical infrastructure. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, moving on, I wanted to clarify. So, can you go over your inherency again? Oh, yes. The inherency is that security in the healthcare sector is insufficient right now. So, is this regulation, like, what are the current regulations like for protecting uh, or for regulating passwords? Right now, there are there is no rule as to how strong the passwords have but to be. They do need passwords. Yes, they do use passwords, but right now, yes, but right now there is no rule that says that the passwords have to be strong or that there has to be multi-factor authentication. Okay, but like they do already require passwords. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that point. Uh, also, on your first advantage, um, so once again, you're just impacting to like ableism, and then your framing is like why we prefer that to like nuclear war scenarios. Yeah, exactly. The impact is medical records being stolen, and ableism is a reason why that is bad. Okay. So, like beyond that, you're just defaulting to your framing. Like, if I give an extinction scenario you're saying that we outweigh on your framing? I would, uh, yeah, because it stinks it is, yeah, because this framing says that we should be focusing on realistic impacts like medical records being released, not the nuclear war that we talk about in every debate round. Okay. Um, then that's time. I'll take prep. Okay, that'll be time to produce. Let me paste it really quickly. These are on three, right? Yes. Awesome. Got it.
to see over? Or um, only me? Yeah, so it's going to be three off. Uh, three off and then like on, but yeah. Okay. And let me. I just realized one of the cards that I'm running isn't there, so I just added it, and I'm gonna repost. Yeah, now it's there. Okay, everyone ready? Uh, can you one check, please? Okay, yeah. Oh, it was in the phone, okay. Gotcha, yeah, I'm good. All right, let's start with the T violation. T protect, protect means to cover a shield from exposure, exposure, injury, damage, or destruction, and this is from Merriam-Webster, and shield means to provide with a protective cover or shelter, also from Merriam-Webster. Basically, at best, they're, extra to or they're effects topical because the plan does not shield critical infrastructure from exposure with defensive means. The plan only shields through the effects that uh, occur as a result of the plan. Basically, this is like putting it on these private sector corporations to police themselves, which makes it extra or uh, effects topical because the plan itself isn't protecting them. It's just like putting this regulation in place that then the result of might be topical, so it doesn't meet protect. Viola um, standards are going to be ground. Without a topical AF, the NEG has basically no grounds uh, as all prep NEG is for topical AFs. And two, is predictable limits outweigh. Broad topics crush small schools. That's the biggest internal link to fairness in education. This is Roland 84. The move to broad topics limits the number of students who participate in debate. The breadth of topics has destroyed novice debate. Uh, they experience negophobia. The educational benefits fly out the window as refugees experience humiliation, being caught without evidence awareness of the issues to confront that the result in fewer novices participating and lessens the educational value of the activity. Cut the card there. And this is going to link to education and fairness as the standards. Next stop is the FEMK. First, the actor is a direct link. Cyber Command and the DOD suffer from institutionalized sexism, preventing engagement and advancement of service women. Bone 17. The US military culture reflects standards of hegemonic white heteronormative mass Masculinity, the military has been characterized as extremely gendered, the masculine institution that values aggressiveness, dominance, and physical strength, mental fortitude, bravery, control, and violence is structured around devaluing femininity. These attitudes become embedded in the military organizational and interactional structure. The military is also sexless, sexist, and endlessly violent against women. This is Rittenhouse 05. 9% of recent women veterans reported being sexually harassed and one third report being raped when they were in the military as a result of female JROTC students are not given the same opportunities as men. Uh, and the impacts of this is that one, masculine domination leads to extinction. This is Naheem 07. Due to patriarchal values, the type of technology developed is meant to dominate, express, exploit, and kill the reason for patriarchal societies to identify masculinity with conquest modern societies are dominated by masculine institutions and patriarchal ideologies. Their technology can fail, now shifts dresden Afghans in many other parts of the world, patriarchal powers, fraud, assassin, rape, global warming, military state poverty, and countless other examples of suffering the ultimate result of the patriarchal but ecological collapse and nuclear holocaust. Ordinary people are often more capable of taking a wider and more humanistic view than these experts. And and the hegemonic masculinity perpetuated the AF justifies U.S. military adventurism, Tickner 01. Feminists has pointed to the masculine strategic discourse and how many impact on understanding and prescriptions for security and may explain why women's voices within it, authentic and national security state legitimize their security seeking behavior. They're the types of hegemonic masculinity, the various uh, valorization of war through its identification of a hero kind of masculinity, it depends on the feminized devalued notion of pieces and title and unrealistic theories assess the causality of a fundamental level, address why the invasion policy was under consideration in the first place, and the all is to vote neg. In questioning the masculine conceptions of the 1AC, we're able to embrace a feminist ethic that challenges the inequalities and violence of the DOD and the status quo. This is Modem 01. Our world desperately needs new economic and political frameworks in order to end the vicious cycle of violence, including justice for women, women's peace movements should be encouraged their analysis and activities that contribute much to our understanding of the roots of conflict and the contradictions of conflict resolution. Violence follows an ideological continuum starting from the domestic sphere where it is tolerated, if not positively accepted. Organizations that value question masculine values and behaviors in domestic politics, international relations with conflict, and seek to make strategic interventions formulating solutions on how they are informed by that over the values. Basically, if you vote AF, you're condoning the actions of Cyber Command and the DOD, and this cannot happen because this is an actual, like, a priori impact that occurs as a result of you signing the ballot for them. And it says that everything that the Cyber Command and the DOD are doing in their treatment of women is completely acceptable and it's not something we have to worry about. If you vote NEG, you're saying that we won't tolerate this. You're saying that this is something that matters and that we have to make a statement right now that this cannot continue until we address these problems. And next on to the Ivory Tower K. The affirmative is in the Ivory Tower. There are abstract uh, discussions of the world that could be uh, deflects attention from actually making real world changes. Nayer 99. 
Located within a site of privilege and charged to reflect on grand questions, we are tempted to run in the mind of the tasking the abstract imaginings of what could be in our world. The total view is what take, the takeoff point for discourses on preferred world order, risk deflection from uh, the abstract projections it provokes might entail little consequences for the faces and names of humanity on behalf of those who we speak. The affirmative acts of the ivory tower intellectual, reducing us to a seminar room warrior instead of engaging in actual solutions specific to this health, these issues of healthcare and protecting patient privacy. This is Farmer and Gastineau, O2. To subject the scrutiny of mechanisms which under life painfully unattainable is not to neutralize them and bring to life the contradictions, it's not to resolve them. Ivory Tower engagement with health reduces us to seminar room warriors at worst we stand revealed as hypocrites as our critics in any part of the world have not hesitated to call us it as possible, usually to drown out the voices of those demanding we stop studying them, even when they go to great lengths to make sure we get the message about social sciences or we are cute and hearing and documenting a full rich trove of cookies, songs, demonstrations, tracks, and broadsides of the subject. And the discussion of the land in the Ivory Tower creates an illusion of reality that diverts attention from practical solutions to problems. Baudrillard, 95. This defines the insoluble relationship between thought and real. It starts with the hypothesis that there is a real reference to an idea and there is a possible idealization of a reality. There's no doubt a comforting perspective is an illusion. There is an incapacity between thought and the real. Between thought and the real, there's no necessary or natural transition reality. The notion of real worlds existing among all possible worlds is unattainable and we must and unthinkable. We must stay away from that. The all is to take pragmatic actions in the real world. Only this solves for the harms of the affirmative and identify the, the affirmative, affirmative and identifies while ignoring their intellectual blindness. Binders, Baudrillard, 94. One must do something, one cannot remain at all. We have to do something if for the sole reason that one cannot do nothing has never been a valid principle for action nor for liberty to reconstitute liberty, a reality one needs to head where the blood flows. All these corridors are, in fact, lifelines from which we suck our moral strength and the energy of the distress. Toothless intellectuals swap their distress and the misery of the poor, both of them sustaining each other, both of them locked in a perverse agreement. Basically, you can also apply this to the Femme Gay because they're similar ideas. Everything he's telling you is happening in this like post fiat, hyper real world that never actually happens. So if you think even, uh, Extending his framing that we should like actually be doing something to address these issues. You can't vote for the app because he's not doing that. He's literally not. And worse than that, you can extend Baudrillard, which is saying that what we're doing here is giving ourselves a false sense of security that like we did this, it's solved, we're good. He's even getting up here and telling you like here's everything good we're doing that we solved for when that does not happen. When in reality, when you vote for that, we just become complacent and don't actually take actual action. And if he wants to solve these issues, real action has to be taken. And voting up the 1AC doesn't do that. And if we're looking at real action that addresses issues issues that have been brought up in the round, you can look to the Femke and understanding how like we have here the opportunity to do something that sends a message within the context of the round and something that operates within the real because the alt is a rejection alt, which means that you by doing that are actualizing the alt. It's not something that requires fiat. So you can apply these together and recognize that like all of the neg is actually happening in the real, including T, because the fact is, if I can't engage with this, which you're seeing because of the fact that like I don't have on case um, carded responses because it's not topical. Uh, then we have to default to things that like actually happen in the real world and none of what he's telling you has that benefit so on the on case like the best case scenario here is you're just like preventing a couple hacks through being uh effects topical so like i'll give you that um but when we look to the framing we can see that it's more important that you evaluate a priori arguments first okay what is the status of the two alts the two alts yes well, they're not mutually exclusive, one, but are they you're condo? asking, yes. They're both condo. Actually, um, all around condo. They're both on condo. What? Both of the alternatives, both of the Ks are on condo? I just said condo. They're both condo. Okay, so just to be clear, they're both condo. Okay, on the argument, okay, in terms of on your T. Mm-hmm. How do I violate your T in turn? Um, because you're not taking an action that directly protects these uh, uh, critical infrastructure areas. Okay, and in that case, okay, so on on the FEM case, so mm -hmm. how is the F plan masculine domination? So the first link is that you're using Cyber Command as this actor, which is like linking you to all these negative things that are currently going on with Cyber Command, which is the fact that it's like, first, women in the DOD are getting raped. Second, they're getting sexually assaulted. And third, the idea behind how we approach securitization through Cyber Command is intrinsically connected to this like uh, heteronormative masculine perception of what constitutes like uh, thought creation and like uh, production moving forward. So on the ivory tower K, yes. how am I how am I ivory tower? 
because you're existing in this hyper reality where you're giving us all these good things that the plan does and not accepting the fact that the plan doesn't do anything. How does your alt do anything? So the alt is like actually going and doing real things. Like if you read through it, it's engaging with the real. So like that's what the alternative is by definition. Okay, so how does the, but so do you solve for the hyper real? I mean, it's not something to be solved for. So you admit the alternative will not be able to, to resolve I it. I think you're mischaracterizing okay. the K. The K is a critique of like acting within the hyper reality under the mindset. Okay, of, like, how are you not things? acting within the hyper reality? Because it's a critique. So I'm not like gaining fiat through any of my means. I'm like embracing the idea that like what we're doing here doesn't actually solve these issues. And I'm applying that towards the fact that we can like look to the real world and have solutions. But that doesn't happen when we just like sit up here in the ivory tower talking about how great it is that we're helping, especially people in the healthcare okay. industry, because there's a second layer. What is the ivory tower? The ivory tower is this like hyper real plane of debate in which that we're not like actually interacting with the real and we're just like using these as opportunities to like get ahead without ever changing anything. Okay. How do your two K's interact with one another? So like you already got me to say they're condo, um, so I'm running them condo. But like the thing is, these two K's do go together with the fact that like the fem K all is an in round advocacy okay. as opposed to something that is fiat. Okay, I'm going to take some prep now. Stopping prep, I have a minute 38 left. Sending me doc now. going to be new seat on top, T, there's, I'm going to address the aft in the order of case and then the underview. Okay. And then it's going to be the case in the order of Femme and Baudrillard. All right.
You ready? Interpretation and name may not read multiple conditional or dispositional counterproposals into one NC, NFA 14. The name may present one to one counterproposal, violation of more than one counterproposal, and they are both conditional status ones, multiple worlds as forces mean to split the one AR between ten and offens against the status one of two counterproposals. This means they will always win because they have to win three debates and they only have to win one to be an impossible time. So it means they will always win two sets of education skills after the case ones isn't easily good at LD because the educational appropriate purpose of LD is to have a deep understanding of a specific topic area. Trees and advocacy are fundamentally different from other arguments because they change the burden they you can't kick out of offense out of DA and series how would it be more debate fours rules NFA LD rules? Our key to fairness and predictability because in order for the game to be fair, we must have to what the name is. A sound basis of wills is inherent in definition of the name. Voters that often or times before all other arguments because conduct protects my ability to engage with everything to follow fairness and education. And to opinion interpretations, reasonability is arbitrary and least. It's such an event in wills that you're not a service that's in the vote for debate is to violate the rules because you're such are to trust the obligate to revalue the event according to the established rules on top of tally. We meet at Centaurs United and we want them to meditate the passwords and unlock the right sanitation and linked vulnerabilities. Our sounds and links in the data message trittle to protect trittle infrastructure. Also, we meet because we sealed medical records from exposure. That's literally in your inter counter interpretation, Oxford 18. Computing protect means we restrict access to or, to or use of data or memory work location as insecurity products are designed to protect information from that as otherwise as if we made our power interpretation are directly restricts access to or, or, or use of data or memory location reason to refer is the same definition our interpretations are because it's the same definitions are taken determining the meaning of individual loads and resolution for and free and predictable to make field contents yeah definition specific to the field of computing security space the most field to test all the example sentences it's at this place of our f metism over yours is better over limits the effort prevents us from having cyber to man duty the most widely accepted Cybersecurity practice for protecting data means the number of assets drastically reduces the least to support how set material policy to failure because we ignore the most obvious and effective solutions reasonability. If we win and we meet a challenge every day in a standard or defense on any of your standards, then we are reasonably top of the and top of the for for reasonability on T because only name can read T. On the K, ableism is historically funded to justify all types of inequalities. We are applied to us to both the Davis 16. A lethal treatment has continued, but it has been considered in Temeton modern society to produce a vast amount of information for such and disability. However, it's one of the most prevalent justifications for neutrality and disability is one to disorderly too. Justifying neutrality for disabled people themselves, but it also done so for women and minority groups. It not only has been justifiable to treat disabled people unequally, but the terms of disability has been used to justify discrimination in terms of the by treating disability. The disability was a significant factor in research and improvement during some characterism, citizenship, or trust in talented disrupt disability was tolerant for lay of fine and fine who deserves our arguments for racial neutrality and immigration restrictions and road support tendencies to feel mind and dismantle and the deafness, blind and subtle to disabilities in particular races and, and as the truth sound framework, not mean the new, not mean the new adult there, but it's any adult that was sincere from the one I see about how I, I get to wait. If you are in a pass against the K, we say that anything else makes it impossible for to engage, which makes the debate unresolvable. Policy simulation allows us to more effectively influence state policy and the key to agency studies prove by Smith 12. Policy simulations are very powerful. Simulation name, simulation of employment, it's very possible. Fuse to the light of advanced in a safe environment of policy simulations that dedicate the improvement of proficiency in policy development. Simulations of well-put knowledge and skills in policy development contests. On a firm day, you will link by being sets for a salt and pass of salad content warning, which means that you can read traumatized any survivors who are in, in, in this wild witch. And we link is, is worse than a link because it is your advocacy and you move out to decay where I did not. That's hard to mean. So we turn the assets of the military of, away from violence by directing it, it, it by, by directing it towards a more defense, towards a, a posse that is not inherently violent of, of protecting passwords. That's already been his perm to both the South West, South 15. Pedagogy is, is the key to recognizing that evidence is not lying, trying to identify all possible situations, but here is the most every year around the world. A light wave forms of pedagogy being described this person who inspired evidence lies outside from what the content that lets me yield evidence that alternative talent of pedagogy for lawyers and venues and modes that up for all but state our attention to teaching and learning to promoting test process and purpose. Maybe we've lied since feminists, we should understand that I am very well now as a moment. Impact defense, uh, while gender is a large impact, it is a monolithic or unified who provide and practices are not always informed by dichotomies, which may have short time for the to relationships. It is a mistake to see gender dichotomies as a unified or totalized distortion to dictate every practice. There was always room for evasion, universal resistance, and dissonance as well. We put out some symbolic orders, identities, or dissociate, and a variety of time places, change the circumstances. That, that sort of means perfect on feminist on talent fails at mid to mid 14. It may be through the adopted approach that is problem as a model oriented, any problem oriented approach will be influenced by seeing radical presupposition, but won't be driven by the logic of the stuff that seems to flow from one side, focus on political ontology, touch the ontology. Now, in cases, Senate Tossi and Tidy of cases conceded we can't access our disabledism and patch. It's particularly important that you have conceded that it is not an issue of whether the plan endorses the logic of it. It is interesting of whether the plan is a good idea in this instance, which means that even if we endorse the logic of the ivory tower or of militarization, we can when there are specific instances good that goes conceded on both the art.
First argument is that you win money at the point that you can set it to the rejoin, which means that, that, that your criticism will never be subsumed into the hype wheel at the point that it is being transmitted across the modes of information by the recording right, right now, which means that, 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 which means that, any, that link into the hype wheel is inevitable and we are being recorded. This argument is currently become the negative, both we are to include several instances of putting us to the one and see we force it, we enforce it by violent rest and metaphors of both we are in 93. We all live in a total source of retirement from one to be answered for every aspect of their lives as amounts to and as well as the other who has become a user listen and how does it report for a management of life known to be expected to be entirely responsible which finds that the individuals to transform itself himself into a slave to their identity will responsibilities desire and that they should be exercising control of all their certainty the one and sees that it turns from that and seen that mass wrapped in life and reality like this man pointed to the plan saying look this is fake the source of the rest of the world is real but we are the one. If you're in Disneyland, you upset the profile of a mirror to download a more file to you. The child has found this mask, something else, and decided to allow to apply to punches the time before a simulation of sort of a Disneyland is used to hide. In the real study, Disneyland is presented as imaginary to make us believe that the rest is real, whereas uh, that's the opposite. It's all out of real. The order of simulation is all out of false representation by the algorithm, but it's the only that the real is all out of real. It's a deterrence machine set up to rejuvenate the fits of the real. Disneyland is not the only one. Los Angeles is small, ladies, imaginary states, and feed the energy of the real. I'll say, okay, is far more ivory held in my afri. Focus on realistic impacts, whereas you talk about postmodern jargon. I'll start for us. Send your mark back in case it's helpful. Sure, Doc. Yep. Order is going to be uh, this new condo argument. Um, and then it'll be condo T uh, with a fem K and then ivory tower. Uh, there are no new cards. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you said you broke that. Oh, no, I was just going over order. Oh, yeah. No Sorry. Worries. You're good. All right. <coughs> Everyone ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's start with this new condo argument and specifically the outlines he gives for why like you should be voting me down on this. He goes over three. The first is multiple worlds. So this is checked by the uh, ask you already present in LD debate because the fact is I only get two speeches up here and this is my last speech. So I have to run multiple advocacy to have any chance of testing the app, which directly links me to a benefit um, because this uh, applies to like how we actually test policy and uh, the real world uh, advocacy for the neg. 
uh, which I'll get into later. But like basically, if you prevent me from running a multiple world scenarios, you prevent us from actually going in depth on what the app does, which ties to a second standard, which was depth of education. Once again, apply this because if we want to actually go in depth on the topic, you have to allow me to be talking about multiple issues. And he's trying to prevent this by saying that you have to get skewed into this like one neg world, which prevents us from actually going in depth on what the app does. Because if it's um, an app that can't hold up for multiple perspectives, then it's not a good app, and that's harming the depth of education. And because we only have one round, the best way we check this is by uh, allowing me to run multiple worlds against the app. And the third thing he runs is the rules. So he's using the rules as a key to education and fairness, but he doesn't recognize that the rules in and of themselves aren't education and fairness, they're just a means to that end. So by applying that, you can see that like, yes, that might be a rule violation, but there's no impact to this because if you weigh it in this round, he's obviously prepped for all of this and we're having just as good a round uh, even with this apparent violation. And you can also default to the norms of debate because running 2Ks is standard in debate. And so saying that the rules prevent it is just antiquated and preventing us from having real debate. So in this case, we're actually seeing that that's going to be a turn on these ideas of education and fairness because it's preventing us from having like in-depth debate. Uh, and that once again applies to his depth of education. And like third, here are just some standards for why Kondo isn't a voter. So even if, like you buy this, it's not a reason to vote. The first is decision-making education because it forces both sides to make strategic decisions. Uh, the second is topic-specific education and it's a key to learning about more aspects of the topic, having a condo strat. And the third is that it's real world because policy experts have multiple ideas and abandon them if they're proven wrong. And so basically counter -interp the next job is to prove that the ad bad app is bad in any way possible and this includes multiple criticisms. And the standards here are advocacy construction. The app should be prepared to counter any argument that can be brought up against their app because that's how things work in real life. And it's not going to be one world as that scenario. And the second is neg flex because the app gets infinite prep time. They get more speech time because this is LD. And giving this, this is giving them an inherent advantage. In return, the neg must be given the ability to pick and choose our winning arguments. And all of this defaults to education and fairness because all of this is how we have good debate. Now let's move on to T. I'm going to kick it because I want to talk about real things and his focus on this condo shell prevented me from doing so. So now we're going to move on to the Ks. Uh, going on to the Fem K, we can see that there are a few things we have to acknowledge here. The first is that he tries to relink me by saying that I didn't give a trigger warning before talking about sexual violence. This in and of itself probably relinks him because he's trying to like prevent me from talking about these issues because I didn't provide a trigger warning because I'm trying to have an educational debate, which means getting through as many things as fast as possible. And just because I didn't have time to put those doesn't mean there was anyone harmed by that. And so like saying that's a relink is just not a fair argument and it's preventing us from having a real debate. So that in and of itself is like this ivory tower turn to try to prevent us from critiquing the DOD and none of it takes away from the fact that you're not voting for the neg, you're voting against the AF. That's what the reject is doing. And so there's no relink here. And if we look to his perm, first, it's very, very clearly severance. Perm do both means that you would have to sever out of your actor to get out of the K, which he cannot do. And the offense on this is if you did both, you would still link and his card doesn't clarify this. So you can't perm do both. It's impossible in this world without like very clearly being severance. And on this K, like that is not something you can do. And beyond that, we can see that like everything he's running here um, doesn't actually check the K because all of this is going to come down to the same thing, which is that if you vote for him, you are voting for the masculine epistemology and blatant sexism of the DOD, and he doesn't get out of this. All of this is just like solvency takeouts, like you can see that in McNabb 14, about how femme ontology doesn't work, but that's not even necessarily like what the alt is doing. The alt is sending a message to the app that like he needs to address these issues if he wants to use this actor, and that's not being done, so you can't vote up the app without condoning this uh, sexism and masculine epistemology, which like obviously is harmful, and even if you buy his impact defense, you can still flow through uh, all of my cards about how this is harmful to women one and second that like there are real world problems of doing this and beyond that it just comes down to the fact that like unless he wants to get up here and tell you that the military industrial complex is allowed to rape uh women that are going through without any consequences then you cannot be voting for the AF, and none of that has been countered so you can be voting on the femk uh, off of that and like let's really quickly talk about his K framing because he's going to try to tell you that you weigh this against ableism So first his Davis 16 card doesn't say anything about ableism being an a priori question It's just talking about how ableism is something that we should address But how he's addressing this all comes down to post fiat impacts So although Alan thinks that this is something that we can be talking about post fiat It really isn't because we need to be addressing these issues a priori And that's not what he's doing even if he's reading this thing about how it's important because all of this is coming down to the hyper reality None of it is happening in the ground and so even if you don't buy uh, why you would vote on the ivory Tower K, it's mainly just a heuristic through which we need to be like viewing the round and the fact that like if you vote for the AF, fiat doesn't happen. 
none of his cards on the ivory tower um okay are saying that fiat happens because it doesn't it's illusionary you as the judge know that when you sign the ballot if you sign the ballot for the app we don't actually implement the plan so nothing is done on this ableism work and the second thing he's reading you is just that like policy is a good way of evaluating uh, meaningful projections and like moving forward and this is the edgekman card but like that is not what the femk is about what the femk is about is that like if you're using an actor that is blatantly sexist through which to implement policy, then you cannot be claiming that that policy doesn't link to the FEMK. And because the FEMK like, entirely operates in an a priori manner, it becomes uh, an issue that gets weighed before this. And don't let him try to say that like you're going to weigh the AF against this because it's all post fiat, it's all illusionary. The uh, NEG, the NEG strategy for this FEMK, all happens before that. And so that's the main takeaway from the ivory tower shell. Uh, you can like flow the rest of his cards. It's really just a heuristic review of the FEMK. It's going to be condo case and ivory tower and then fem. Condo case ivory tower fem. Yes. On condo, it's in the town and turn off and down to see it. On, on case, we say that we are going to be winning this. We, we, we say that we are going to be winning this debate because the responses from the negative to our framing arguments are, are too little, too late, and the one and our set of hands and the one and see don't allow new one and our responses to arguments and see by the one and see because they can't get to an R they did two A R because I am when you get twice as much time in the one and our versus the two A R I am out of time to do line by line and Wayne. We say we say that we get to wait. We, we, say, we say that we get to wait. Post behind and pants. That is going to be key to, to avoid mooting the one. I see at the point where does it then prevent the 13 to 9 times you buy an idea of additionally close fiat and free fiat impacts are irrelevant especially when you can see that you are hyper with it everything this debate is hyper real because of the, because of the because of the live stream additionally you say that the, the entirety of the app is is all post fiat and illusionary but you can see the Iceman 12 charge which indicates that policy simulation is able to influence real policy to such which means that we are going to be able to resolve for ableism we say that ableism is the root cause which is what the Davis 16 card says which means that only for the permutation, are we going to be able to properly resolve without the permutation? Ableism will cause gender dichotomies of oppression to continue to exist and also use it. And also, there should be specific instances of how policy doesn't link to the friend day. Let's look. It is not a trusting of whether the app endorses militarization generically or uses a bad app. That is the logic of Et's argument that's in the 1AC speech thought that has gone conceded throughout the wild. That even if the military is bad generically, we can still use the military in a good way in this one instance, which is what this app is about. And it doesn't let me say that, that the K being a priori is evolving at the point that, that post and pre fiat distinctions are evolving. Now, on the pre fiat argument, at the point that you 
why did we frame the stage of frame mechanism in the NRI didn't in response to that in 2AR? We say that at the point that you have conceded that everything in this debate about is hyper real, this means that you do not get to use this case of framing mechanism. We say that this means that, that the impacts of the plan are just as real as the impacts of your case at the point that your case or both that your FEMK is hyper real as, as well, which means that we might as well announce that post fiat is just as real as pre fiat. Now, on the FEM, on the FEMK, it's then the conceded link turn about how we reorient the military away from being violent. We say that at the point that that argument is completely conceded and there's no response to it, it is going to be tried eye for the permutation to be able to resolve the criticism. Also, on the permutation, I, I, I said the argument about ableism, which is a unique, cross play argument about ableism, which is a unique net benefit to the permutation. Also, it's then at May 14, which. Uh, I did read enough of it, said the mark to dot. We say that the model oriented approach is like the criticism fail, which means that we need to be able to approach problem oriented to the approaches like the, the one I see also. So you say, you talk about the blatant sexism of the DOD, but we are winning the argument that the DOD is, that we can defend a specific instance of the DOD acting in a way that, that is not sexist. We say, say that the, that the, we, we say the permutation is able to resolve for those, uh, the links, and also you're just as ivory tower, so the app is just as real. Good job. Well. Judge, do you disclose? Yeah. Perfect. You thought I was going to read a cap, okay? <laughs> I would not have been surprised.
So this debate uh, gets interesting. All right. So I haven't voted affirmative, uh, and here's why. The actor link on the FMK is predicated on the use of the DOD as an actor as being a bad actor. The net concedes the admittedly flippy framing from the affirmative that the app should lose even if some part of the one he's seen endorsed is lost to their actor, uh, and that post fiat impact should be evaluated. The net's response to the one in order to this is fundamentally based on the post fiat use of the actor endorsing the abuse of the DOD, but concedes enough of the hyper real arguments to grant me that both the app and neg exist in this hyper real and both link into that. So when that happens, I can't grant access to the next indict of the affirmative's uh, policy simulation influences real policy arguments because the neg answers are framed in a non hyper real world where there's a delineation between pre and post fiat. Thus, I end up voting app in a world in which the heuristic framing of the hyper real K doesn't function as a framing mechanism and the links to the K only function within that framing mechanism. Uh, so I guess in summary, it's kind of a risk of the affirmative offense. So I, look, I'm not like, s Alan, I think these framing arguments, especially when you, you're gonna go for these, I think you need to card them. Like, I think this, this like, this is like barely a sentence uh, about endorsing the logic of X. And I think there's enough literature out there about like weighing like realism and policy simulation versus like the singular logic of the affirmative. Uh, I think you need to uh, card this out because it is pretty flippy. So I'm not like super happy about voting about it. Um, and Alan, I think, I think you were a lot closer to losing this debate um, then maybe it seems, uh, I think you need to impact out some of these arguments you're reading on the K, like, cool, even if I, even if, like, if, she, even if your opponent concedes all of this, like, I'm not sure what to do with some of these arguments when we don't, if we don't get into this funky framing, hyper real, uh, heuristic debate. Uh, like, okay, gender is not monolithic nor unified. What's the impact of this against the FEMK? Why does this matter? Why is a pure focus on feminist ontology felt? What's the impact of that failure, right? I think you, I think you give your opponent so much uh, ammo in this debate to be able to like get up there and beat, just cold beat you on the weighing, um, the weighing aspect of this debate in the K. And so I, I think you just gotta make better answers to this. Um, Neg, I think you spend too much time on the condo thing. I know like, Pacific always goes for condo bad. Like I was, mm. I was even messaging people. I'm like, Pacific, like Alan's gonna collapse to condo bad in the two AR. Like that, was, I was just like, okay, this is the debate we're gonna have. But I don't think you need to spend as much time on that, right? I think that, um, I think you do. I think you kind of do enough to to ward them off on that. I think too, like, I think you need to. I understand what you're trying to do with the hyper real K. But I think you need to, especially if you're going to rely on it and make so many cross applications as a frame, using it as a framing mechanism, I think you need to make better answers to some of these arguments that come out of the the one AR. Um, because I do think that I just I don't think like the Dutton ninety evidence or the Bojar eighty one evidence really goes um, responded to. And Alan, I think the easiest out in this debate would have been. Uh, extending the Bojar 93 card, which doesn't go responded to. Uh, and basically, oh no wait, that would have been opposite. Uh, one second. Hold on. Uh, do you all have any questions? 
time do you have one? Okay. Do you think it would have been easier or harder for me to win the debate if I had collapsed a condo? I thought you were going to collapse a condo. <laughs> Um, a, yeah, a, a bunch of my friends were watching the debate on the live stream, and after a while, I found out that they were expecting me to go for condo yeah. also. <laughs> I think you would have, um, you know, you. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I I like your answers to condo. Um, I think they're very functional, and so I also think like I'm sympathetic to you. The way you frame your rules argument, um, so <laughs> it's it's a little tougher. I think you probably still could have gone for it if you wanted to, because like I think you I think you probably could have beat back this multiple worlds argument um, pretty like heavily, right? Like I think especially so I think the out on this may have been something like you know they uh, your opponent reads this like hey you shouldn't sever out of your firms that's bad like because you're severing out of your advocacy. And then I think you just be like, hey, cross apply that your my opponent says severing out of advocacies is bad. Guess how you do that? Be a condo. Right? Oh yeah, that would have been an interesting way to yeah, frame think, it. Yeah. And so I think like I think you yeah, you Yeah. I thought you were gonna go for it. I'm like, we're gonna have another Pacific condo debate. Cool. Yeah, which like because of Pacific, I have a lot of condo press. So <laughs> yeah, I was right. expecting that. <laughs> yes, I it's interesting. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. I mean, it is true that we don't like condo. Like we're not yeah, like we have like 